Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So guess what you guys, this week I've got a special guest. <laughs> so Michaelin's joining me here in the craft room and Michaelin's recently started her own photography business and she's always looking for ideas for props. And one of her ideas she saw on a Pinterest, right? Yeah. Um, and it was with some vases and they were like the ceramic, the pottery type vases, and you went to the store, right? Little and spendy. <laughs> little spendy. So we decided to share with you an idea on how to make these a little bit more high end. So Michael, you picked these up at Marshall's, I think? Yes, on clearance for only $4 a piece. So $4 and we've got two vases. Now some of you might think this gold is absolutely beautiful <laughs> and it might be your look. But for the, um, the shoots that she's going to be doing, she wants more of that brush ceramic um, pottery type look. So we're going to use a really fun technique. So I hope you guys stay tuned for this Inspiration Friday. project. So Michael, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a combination of some acrylic paint, any color you want. I think we decided on white, right? Yes. And if she wants to do it a different color later, she can give it a coat of spray paint or she can paint right over it. But we're just going to start with basic white. The secret ingredient here is baking soda. So the baking soda is going to give it the consistency that looks like it's a, it's a pottery type, okay? So what the normal um, um, measurements would be is about a cup of paint to a quarter cup of baking soda. But what we're going to do today is we're just going to kind of put some consistency in and, and start mixing it a little bit. One of the things you want to do though is take your time as you're adding it in and let it, um, let it get stirred up really well, okay, because you don't want to do too much baking soda. So what I like to use is a, um, why did I just go popsicle blind? Stick. Popsicle <laughs> stick, just so I'm blank on what this is. So we're gonna use a popsicle stick. So Michael, why don't you put some um, acrylic paint in there and just give it a good thing because we've got two of these bases to cover. Is that enough? I would do a little bit more. Okay. Okay, that's good. So you guys, we got a good dollop of paint in there and now we're gonna go ahead and just add in the baking soda. You guys can tell I am not measuring. Okay. And now just go ahead and give that a good stir with the popsicle stick. Now one of the things I did before we started you guys is we did remove the stickers um, from the base and I also took a cotton ball with some alcohol and just cleaned it. it you don't necessarily have to do it but it just really um, helps um, this um, um, adhere to it. Okay. So let's see what our consistency is. So I think we might want to add just a little bit more baking soda, okay? So you guys have, will have a blog post attached to this and in that and even the directions down below will give you the exact measurements um, that are good to use, okay? Quick so, question. Yep. Yeah? Is it okay to have the lumps in there or do, would you? That's a really good question. I'm glad you asked that. And you want to get the lumps out. Okay. And that's one of the reasons oh, why as you're stirring it. And you see as you yeah. stir it a little bit longer, it's starting to get a little bit thicker. Okay. More of that plaster look. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, having said that, Michaelin, um, plaster is another thing we could have used. Um, I did a, um, a tutorial, um, oh gosh, I think it was last spring on some vases that I had actually used modeling paste on. So this is just another technique. So see how that's really starting to get thicker? Okay, so I think we're ready. So we're gonna use a chip brush for this project and Michael's gonna use it and just start putting it on, um, on the base. So one of the things I find easiest is to put your hand in the base so you can get it all the way around. We don't necessarily need to do the bottom of it and so that way, if you do it with your hand, you can pick it up paint and you can put it back down. So Michael, why don't you have at it? Let's see how it goes. Okay. There you go. Oops. Now one of the things, don't put it on too thin, right? Um, and you can go in all one direction um, as you're doing it. Once we have it totally covered, I like to let it set 
for just a little while, just so it's a little tacky. And then if you want to add some um, brush strokes to it to make it, you know, like some swirls, um, you sure can. Right now, Michaelin's just giving it a good coat um, and, it's, and she's doing the paintbrush, you know, in one direction after she's got it coated. But you definitely can add all kinds of texture. One thing we even talked about doing is maybe even adding on some beads. I grabbed some um, things out of my stash that we could add on to this also and then put another coat of paint on it once we were done. So I think we kind of decided we're going to wait and see what this looks like um, and then go from there. Wow, it looks so cool already. So Michael, what are you going to be putting in the base for the photo shoot? So I picked up some pompous grass uh, at Marshall's as well. Um, so it'll be like a nice little vase in the background of some photos in the studio. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, well, she's and been having fun coming up with all of her props for her, I for her photography. So I can't wait to do more. Yeah. Michaelin used to be in the craft room with me crafting all the time until she decided to start her own photography business and <laughs> I'll make sure I put a link down below to um, to her site so you guys can check oh, it out. Oh yeah, she's, that would be awesome. Yeah, she's been doing lots of really cute shots. Okay. You even got some Valentine's minis coming I up, do. right? I yeah. yeah. This one will be for a mommy and me session. She was kind of going for that boho type of vibe. So I think this will be perfect. So look at that. I'm going to give you guys a close-up view. You guys can see that is just beautiful. Love it. So we could do maybe just now that we put it down, let's just do a little bit around the top there just okay. to finish it off. Okay. And see how you have the rim? So yeah. you want to cover up the rim? Yeah, there you go. Okay. That way it really gives it that. And now in some cases, as long as you're going to um, just have the pompous grass in there and not put anything wet, another thing you might want to do is just do the inside a little bit. Okay. And so that way, depending on the angle of the camera, you're not right. seeing that and it looks like it's pottery all the way. Okay. So that's another idea. Wow, already looks so good. I know, so different. Look at the contrast here, you guys. There's definitely a difference between them already. And again, this was a $4 vase yeah. um, that she picked up. And when I was looking at them, they can range really anywhere from like $20 to even $40. Yeah. So I was really excited when I found these. We'll make sure we um, click up above here a link to what her inspiration was. So. Yes. So do we what want do to try mean? the second one, or do you want to? Yeah, okay. sure. I think right here, come at this angle, Michael, and you can just see maybe oh, get yes. that just a little okay. bit more cover. Oh, no. Yeah, I okay. know. Now I messed it up. Nope. <laughs> Let's go around. That's that. what, you know, when you think about it being pottery, that's right. how it is. It and you can always, we can always add a second coat. Right. Perfect. Why don't you start on the second one? I'm going to go get our okay. little turntable, and that way that might be easier to oh, check perfect. it out. So why don't you move over here in the middle? Perfect. Okay, so we've got our first coats on, and now what we're doing is, Michaelin's decided she wants a little bit of more texture, and so literally all I'm doing is taking the paintbrush and I haven't added any more of our um, paint on and I am just lightly brushing it. And oh my gosh, Michael, what a change. Right. Wow. Oh, it looks so cool. Yeah. So in some places we did get kind of a second coat on, just evened it out a little bit. And then just letting it sit for a few minutes, getting a little bit more tacky. And then you guys, all we're gonna do is let these dry. And we can put a clear coat on them, spray it with just like a clear coat. Um, I wouldn't do a gloss. I would do like a satin clear coat or a matte clear coat. Um, and the only reason that I would suggest that is when it comes time to dusting, 
sometimes if you have that coat on it, it's nice. But reality is, you guys, if this was pottery, it probably wouldn't have that on it. Um, so it's what you guys decide you want to do when you're doing this. So I was just telling Michaelin that when we these are all dry, I'm going to have her stage it. So you guys can see how she would use it in um, her photography. And I'll tell you, the cool thing about this is, Michael, you guys, you could use this in the house. I could. Yeah. They're beautiful. And you know what? At first I was thinking that you should do a color, but I just Loving think this, this white. white is... Yeah, we thought about doing a cream color, but yeah, this is perfect. And who would think baking soda? Oh my gosh, look at that! Oh my gosh, that's love it. so cool! I love it, you guys. Here, I want to. I'll try to zoom in there for you guys, but just look wow. at that. And make sure, Michael, that you do the inside. Oh, that's right also with that same little technique just so you got consistency but oh, oh my God. love it look at these love it yeah okay i'm loving this <laughs> okay so you guys we're gonna let these dry and then um we're going to stage them like michael will be using them in her next photography shoot right yes and we'll show you how this all turned out. So thanks so much for joining us for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you enjoyed my special guest. Thanks, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. Have a great day. And here are our finished vases. I just love how this project turned out. And you can just see the texture in these vases just using that technique with the paintbrush. I hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday project. And I wanted to make sure I stuck in a picture from Michaelin's photo shoot. Look how that vase looks, just like her Inspiration vase. So if you like this Inspiration Friday project, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're looking for other DIY type projects, check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com.